I feel like my story is different than the other stories that we've been hearing. I don't feel like I've done a great thing and I get way too much credit from people saying that I saved Hannah and it was really the other way around. Hannah really saved me. My story I feel like is more of a lesson of releasing your plan for your life and letting God's plan take over and realizing that those two plans may not always go in the same direction and that's okay because in the long run his plan is always his will and is always the best for your life. My story kind of begins in 1994 when I experienced a pretty significant breakup and thought that God had kind of abandoned me and not allowed me to find somebody to love. And my friends, being three or four years out of college, were getting married and having a family. And that wasn't the direction that my life appeared to be going. And I was pretty broken up for a while. And I had the opportunity, was invited to a colleague's baby shower at another school. It turned out that she was adopting a baby from China. And when I walked into the baby shower and, and saw what she was doing, it was like God revealing to me that this was a direction that he might take me. And I didn't act on it at first. I was still relatively young. I was only out of school, out of college for about four years. And I just kind of put it in the back of my mind and it gave me peace that I didn't have to have the pressure of finding Mr. Right, that there were other alternatives. And I had the opportunity to release that pressure. It remained in the back of my mind with everything that I did. But I just enjoyed life and bought my house and things moved on. It wasn't until 2001 that I decided to take the next step and try to make my plan happen. And I remember hearing the Queen song one day, um, find me some, someone to love. And I had listened to that song so many times after the breakup and praying, God, find me someone to love. And after bringing Hannah home, I heard the song and it was like a light came on and I realized all those years that I was praying to find someone to love and in my mind it was a husband and a father and it turned out that God's plan wasn't a husband and a father. It was a, a child that I flew halfway around the world to be united with and I truly believe that God brought us together. It was his plan. It was not anyone in China's doing. It was not my doing. It was his plan that we were brought together. I tell her that all the time. And when she came home, she, my parents and I would always say, she caught up so quickly it made our heads spin. Just the the love and the nourishment and the attention. By the time she was 14 months old, she was walking. When I got her at eight months old, she could hardly hold her own head up. Eight months old, she should have been crawling, she should have been sitting up. She couldn't do any of that. We had to support every part of her. She was so limp. Um, by the time we left China, she was bouncing around. She was sitting up on her own. She caught up so quickly. She got her first two teeth in China. She started eating rice cereal in China. 
And by God's grace, she has blossomed into this beautiful young lady, intelligent and kind and the, the light of my life. I think you have to be open to hearing his voice. I wasn't at first. I didn't understand. And the nudge that I got in taking my journey, I didn't recognize that that was his, his hand nudging me in that direction. And I think being open to trying things that are a little scary, that seem out of your comfort level, to I can and I will. I can be there and I can do it, and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but if it's God's plan, it's always gonna turn out the way He wants it to turn out and it's gonna be great. And you just have to let go.